All right, hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. We're uh, making some fairly hefty strides. We're gonna go kill some Dwager, avenge Glut's circle, kill some Dwager. You know, no Jasper. What do we got over here? Rogue's morsel always grab me some Rogue's morsel. Seems like something, but it is actually nothing. Yeah, no, uh, the Underdark, it, it's not as scary as I thought it would be. This seems like it's going to be the Dwager camp <clears throat> down there. Certainly, uh, when you open up a new area with a Beholder and a nasty Spellcaster, um, I'm like, yeah, goodbye. Uh, I'm out. I'm good but um having avoided that combat completely it, it, it's been a good idea and um basically since then we we've been doing a pretty good job taking down minotaurs and uh taking out some hook horrors decrepit village huh account Looks like it's been sitting empty a while. Looks like an ambush. Oh yeah? How's that? Unseen. Perfect. Gek Cole. Uh these things have stayed interesting. Seen? something to ask what Gek? got someone sneaking up on us hold up your palms in peace you got a bloody rot for for company must have let it get in your head my axe will fix that in no time okay well you know we, we came here for a reason i was kind of hoping we could do a sneak attack but that's fine Looks like we can, actually. <laughs> We're even gonna be able to do, like, three attacks here. Um, okay, this is a... Okay, what about this? Offhand attack is a bonus action. That's four to seven versus seven to twelve. Well, that... The, <clears throat> the choice is clear. We'll do one offhand range attack. Then we'll do a hide. Better be cautious. <clears throat> and then we'll do a sneak attack. Stab. Wow, he's almost dead already. And our lad here. Ah, I'd love him to do something a bit more meaningful. Than just like walk up and punch this dude. Someone else is in this combat. Novice Garmore. These guys are invisible, I just noticed. Um, our lad here can see them though. Disadvantage. That was a mistake. Well, we can do like a punch. Can we? Can we? Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. I'd like to do. Uh, have him cast. Oh no. Be conquered. Okay, so he's like casting that and then running away, but he's. Does he need to if we kill him? Do you think we we will do away with a lot of these lads reanimated corpse? Temporarily hostile uh, Shadow heart is um, I think shadow hearts gonna do oh, I guess I got rid of blessed didn't I that was actually stupid of me Because blessed by itself is only a level one spell and I can cast it on like multiple people Whereas, uh, you know, I mean, there is logic behind getting rid of it, but Necromancy spell last 10 turns I'm assuming we don't have line of sight over there I'm gonna I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna move over here and then I'm gonna try and cast blindness on them 55% chance Yes I'm also gonna throw a spiritual weapon over there. Let's do like a great sword. 
Nice. And we'll just like back up an inch. Oh God. That did not work out well. Hunter's Mark. Okay, so there's a lot more lads here than I know about. Uh, Lazel. Lazel, um... I'm gonna have to have Shadowheart do a group heal, I think. Especially since our Mushroom Lad got, got a little dinged up. On the move. Uh, I wish it wasn't gonna cost her so much movement to get to where I, I need her to be. Can we do a dash rush attack? I mean, it seems like expensive, but let's do a rush uh, misty step And then do a rush attack They do have uh, dwarves generally speaking have a uh, advantage against um, being put off balance. So that makes sense. Let's do a lacerate Nice we could uh, spend an, an action surge, but I feel like there are better uses for that. Yeah, we've got a lot of Where is Shadowheart? Why is she down there? Oh my god Okay, um, we're gonna fight Gek here Nice 10 damage Ready for another round. So Shadowheart is already almost dead. I I guess she just got blown off the top of this entire structure um, That's really not good Wondering if I could like move over here I could have uh Carlac like almost get got it. To this animated corpse and then we can have her move to Gek On the next turn Can I, I actually like just shove this guy? Not enough movement Can we reach them with a strike? Just barely not That is so frustrating um can we do like a cleave it's really not worth using a cleave but i mean it means she gets to do anything right now um i'm gonna have a frenzy We have a corpse we can um, bring back, but we still have our, our original dude, Philro, and he's got some really good spells. I don't want to waste those. Uh, I'm just going to keep our mushroom lad here for now. Oh, God, they are all going to hit her. Yeah, Shadowheart's down already. I, the, the luck of that is just so brutal. She gets our healer gets knocked off the top of, of an entire building prone lost a turn and then and then just like everything about that uh, Luckily Gek is still blind um, Can we do like a jump over there? If I do this Let's do this. I'm gonna have to dash over there. There's no, you know, preventing that. I am gonna have advantage, so I don't have to do a hide, which is nice. That's some decent damage. Okay, um. This guy doesn't have any like healing or anything. Tasha's hideous laughter will probably only work on Gek. I think we could do that. What is this? Hypnotic pattern. Creatures that can see you the pattern. They cannot attack you. They cannot move or act. Yeah, that sounds good. Just trying to see uh, how I can get the most people. Let's let's do like that. They, everyone saved against it. Okay, that sucks. I am, I am, I am 
Okay, there's like not great things happening right now, I have to be honest. Let's just get rid of this guy and make moves over here. The guy went invisible. Our, our invisible eye thing has yet to work even once. It seems like everything can save against it, which is like really brutal. Gonna go ahead and um, throw a poison orb, orb down. Oh, I'm... Yeah, yeah, we got him. Nice. Excellent. Uh, would love to do more, but I don't really have the moves. Enlarge, huh? Oh, we've got more... Uh... Are you gonna, are you gonna attack my, my poor elf? Half-elf on the ground there? Advantage. He's still blind. Our big bad is still blind and we still have advantage. This is uh, kind of the perfect scenario for... Um... Oh, we did actually hypnotize one of these animated corpses. Frenzied strike. Um, they're still alive? Good lord. Three attacks to kill the, that one dude. I really don't want to put our mushroom guy at, at risk. I'm going to get ready to uh, raise another minion because I definitely foresee uh, Philro dying soon. Karlak is going to get surrounded by more baddies. That's fine. Um, yeah, we can, we're going to do more sneak attacks, more good stuff on our big bad. He is dead. So it looks like uh, the, you know, animated guys are still around. That's fine. We can we can do some stuff. Critical hit. Nice. That's another another one bit the dust. Um, Shadow Heart has failed one check and succeeded another one. Let's just do a firebolt. We don't need to we don't need to complicate things with this guy. 14 damage, that's actually really decent. Can we like push this guy as well? No. I will ascend. Uh, Lazelle is just like always always seems to find herself in like the mist, most inopportune areas, you know? So she's gonna go all the way down to the bottom and uh, potentially help Shadowheart. She might get poisoned. She saved against it, so she didn't get poisoned. This is good. She's gonna have a bonus um, action left. I have just exactly enough movement. We're gonna use our action surge and I'm gonna go ahead. I, I would love to help Shadowheart. She can fail one more check. If I help her up, though, these guys are going to are just like right here. So it doesn't make sense to try and do that. Um, this is combined 33 hit points. So it I think it would make more sense to color spray this lad here and then start attacking the other one. And why not? I'll use a second wind. Yeah. Okay, so this guy is raging. Lazelle took a bit of damage. That's fine. Uh, phew. The, um, the sword is gonna... Uh, it does not have enough movement to get anywhere very interesting. Actually, it can fly down. No? Not enough resource? Never mind. I always think I have enough resources, but I don't. It's my blood. <clears throat> Karlak, you have enough movement. Oh, I love uh, the barbarian is just so nice. Oh, there's still a lad here. Whatever. The the guy down here is uh, a bit spicier, so we're gonna go down there and and leave our corpse friend to to you know do something more interesting maybe. 
do another attack reckless sure oh we still missed advantage uh i'm just gonna leave our mushroom friend up there i mean i guess i can make moves towards the zombie dude he could he could do something against the zombie dude maybe on the next turn um shadow heart succeeded her check can we do anything here we do have advantage oh we have advantage to shoot karlak i don't know why that's the case are we hidden i don't think we are I think I'm just gonna do some normal shots uh, against this dude. We have a 95% chance here. I guess if we're doing normal shots, I may as well consider using some like extra stuff, like maybe an arrow of fire. But honestly, I think this guy is doomed no matter what. So. Here we go again. Nice. Oh, we missed on an 80, huh? Let's do, um, Thunderwave. Target is blocked. Oh, I guess we have a dude like right in front of us, don't we? Disadvantage, 90% chance. That's weird. I wonder why they got healed for one. Karlek's gonna have advantage because she's surrounded by at least two, uh, two baddies. This guy is blind, right? He's not blind. Why is he not blind? But anyway, she's got advantage. Let's do some damage on the big bad. Four damage. What the heck happened there? Five to 14. We don't have, like, we can't actually do less than five. I don't know what's happening. I guess it's because he's raged. That must be it. Wow. Okay, let's uh, get rid of this lad. Cool. Well, this is my happy place. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch of opportunities here. Reckless attack. I guess we're. This guy is just very tanky. That's fine. He can be tanky. We're still gonna beat the ever living crap out of him. There's still a dude here. I don't know why it's giving me the uh, combat is over. Uh, Shadowheart died. That really sucks. Let's get this over with. The fanfare is sung. The rot is cleansed. Okay. You must speak. Target is blocked. Choose destination. Take you. Fading frost. All right, let's do a mass healing word. That does bless everyone. I was I wasn't wrong about that at the very least. Oh, you know what? Let's do a short rest. Oh, we're at a short rest already. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I'm like going to be spending all of our spells on uh, nothing very interesting here. Okay, Tav, let's have a commune with our sovereign glut. You consider your kin dead by your hand. The tumor is excised. The Dwega are dead. Here I break ground. From the dark will a mighty circle rise. My song will fill the grotto. King nice. Killer. The grotto may sustain but one sovereign. In the age of glut, there may be no spore. Eliminate the Excuse other me? sovereign. 
You turn on Spa, who gave you shelter? A fate it has earned. Dude, eat. My circle long suffered while the Dwergar flourished. I sang to Spa for help. Yet it cowered in the grotto and let my people be slaughtered. Choose, smooth mind. Help me grow a mighty circle and reap the reward. Or protect the precious poltroon as it waits for the circle of glut to devour it whole. Uh, I'm not sure I understand it. So you're gonna, after that, after like, first of all, don't kill, don't call me kin killer. That that's just bad. Also, don't call me smooth brained. That's that's kind of rude too. After I helped you, um, but like. So after all that, we're gonna we're gonna turn on the other dudes, and that's isn't that uh, the other lads part of like the circle of brilliance or whatever the the league of brilliance? I don't think I'm cool with that. I'll have no part of this. It is my right. It is my right. I don't know if it is. Harmonies turn to scrapes and scratches. Your corpse will birth my circle. Uh, so after all that, you're going to make me kill Mushroom Lad. Why does he suddenly have 89 health? My God. All right, I'm sorry, but we're gonna kill him. I feel my way. I don't want to, but he gave me an impossible choice to make. I just turned on my on my you know Dwager kin for him, and then he wants me to also turn on like the other friend friendly people of uh, of the Underdark. It's not not cool. Uh, that is not not cool. I have messed up again and now i have to take take a range shot here victory awaits he's too heavy yeah okay that's fine stay focused i'm sure he's going to really hurt also, his uh, his corpse friend, my my uh, originally my corpse friend is uh. Can we knock him prone? That'd be kind of fun. Nope. We we critical hit him, but he saved against prone. Okay, I'm gonna do a um. I'm gonna do a mass healing word because we're gonna do a long rest after this. Uh, it'd be really cool if we were. Oh, give me a second. Okay, uh, let me just double check that I'm okay. So, yeah, I mean, all of this kind of sucks. Well, we're about to do a long rest, so I might as well use my legacy of Avernus. Searing smite, lacerate him. Why not? He's gonna hurt. Noxious fumes, huh? He's got new moves that I didn't see before. Oh my god. Uh. Well, all of that sucked. But we're alive. I, I really don't like that I had to kill my mushroom friend. Circle glut was not meant to be. We saw to that. I will not fall before my time. 
can't afford to stay idle. This way. Well, I have to. I, I kind of have to mourn that whole thing. Really, kind of have to process all of that. Like there are more than a couple of reasons why I had to kill the Dwager. Um, I personally, though I rolled a Dwager, have no personal attachment to them. I did not roll a Dwager so I could make an evil character. I like the idea of like you know deep dwelling dwarves. I think that they're really interesting. I don't think that they should be automatically ev evil, and I think that they, ha you know, I have the right to say that a Dwager would disagree with fellow Dwager. I mean, it's not like. Uh, I don't think that any race should automatically side with its own um, if their own are making like weird decisions like hey let's just go ahead and attack mushroom people they they seem you know ripe for death I don't know I don't um, I don't uh, agree or go along with the uh concept that like races are automatically evil as as i've said a few times um but that doesn't mean that evil dwager do not exist i understand that they exist however you know as with I, I am so tired of accidentally t clicking on my companions i kind of wish i could never do that again um yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of like thinking that whole thing through. I didn't mean to send a camp. I meant to pick up and add to wares. It's it's a messy business. Faded log book, huh? Let's look at that. The inside cover reads Borough Warden Myrna. The pages are lined with neat calculations, equipment logs, and expedition notes. The final entry reads... Expedition 42, back after a 10-day in the northern quadrant, two potential mining sites scouted, discovered a vein of Arendur. Well, so did a bang-up job. Organized shifts and led the first to dig. Brother or not, he'll be a great burrow warden one day, but he needs to keep his temper in check and practice reading the stone. He's as blind as, blind as a surfacer sometimes, planning to take him out later along the Ebon Lake to practice. I'm sure this is like lore. Okay, so what does Gek Cole have? Great name for a dwarf. Dwager Antidote nullifies the effects of certain Dwager poisons, grants advantage on saving throws against being poisoned, and grants resistance to poison damage. Scroll of Misty Step, Scroll of Vampiric Touch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Martial weapons are great axes. Could Carlac use that? Yes, she can, and it is really nice. That is a really nice little weapon we've picked up. Scourge of Pests deals a additional one to six fire damage to plants, insects, or small creatures. Oh, okay. Not as cool as I thought. Still, it's basically the same weapon as what we are using, except it's, uh, you know, enhanced. Oh, it is two-handed. It, it forces us to be two-handed. I don't know if I care for that, actually. 1d12 plus 3 versus 1d8 plus 4. It's really not that much better. And um, it forces us to be two-handed, so that means we lose two AC. So I would prefer to right. stick with our old one. Uh, we're going to do a long rest. I keep cl clicking on, like, just rest. And I thought that that would just do a long rest, but it keeps bringing me to my camp. Okay. Ah, uh, leave camp. 
So I don't think that there's anything else here worth looking at. I mean, there probably is a ton worth looking at, to be honest. This is like, I, I, I really can't imagine that was it for this camp. Anyway, I know I, I tend to invent a, a, a person a lot and then have an argument with them, but like I, I can sense someone out there like having these weird little fandom uh, judgments on on me because like uh, of certain decisions I make. My decisions make sense. I don't really, you know, I don't care to be classed based on the kind of character that I've picked. I I like playing. Um, neutral good characters, let me put it that way. I like to, um, consider a moral dilemma and, you know, pick a side that makes the most sense to me. And if that means that I'm killing, you know, people my of my own everything. race, then that's, that's what it's going to be. A badly charred diary with property of Wolbrin written on the inside cover. In one of the few legible entries, the author wonders if he'll ever see his friend Barkus again. Now that he's departed for the surface world. Didn't we meet a Barkus? Is that the gnome? I don't think I met the gnome that the uh, mushroom people were harboring. I don't like these holes. Nothing but rocks. The wall is riddled with holes. A suffocating stench of long rotten meat wafts out. Dwarf survival inspect the holes advantage. I seriously failed that check with advantage. I I, I insist on not. We failed twice. The tunnels were created deliberately, but whether by tools or claws, you cannot say. Good lord. Reach into one of the holes. The passage narrows and bends. You're shoulder deep when your fingers brush against a fleshy tentacle. You flinch, but the tentacle is limp and cold. You push it aside and retrieve something loose lying beneath. Hmm. Okay. Nest egg. What was that? Topaz. Interesting. Oh, uh, we are we have all kinds of horrible mushroom stuff up here again. Um, where are we trying to get to? Githyanki Patrol. We are going back to Myconid Sovereign. Let's do that. I swear to God, if we have to wage war with these guys. For some reason, I'm going to be a little cheesed. Very well. It greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. The Dwager are slain, the rot has been purged. Ah, I have slain the creature called Glut. It was scheming to slaughter your circle. You are one with Spore. Your throat tightens, then relaxes. The air is serene, your mind untroubled. And I sense only silence from the Dwergar hunters. The rot is cleansed. The That's songs true. The we sing now carry your spirit. You shall now be called Kin Spirit. Well, that's certainly better than Kin Killer. You aid us in good faith. In good faith, I thank you. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. Nice. But before this, I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergar blight, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Myconid dead. Okay. Here, this one is called. He hunted us, 
Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head, and I will know my circle is safe. Um... You're racking up quite the body count. I ask a boon, and will give one in return. I don't the drow doubt that. Lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death, and return. Okay. Not exactly uh, loyal to drow either. <laughs> I am interested to see if maybe they have something to say for themselves. I was gonna try and broker peace with the with the Dwager and hear their side of the story, but um, they're just like, nah. Interesting. Blue blush cap corpse. Shadow of. What is this? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, shroud shrouded in shadow. Um, instead of gaining momentum, shrouded in shadow. Invisibility ends early if you attack, cast another spell, take an action, or take damage. Um, so we can become invisible for two turns. Now, as <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, we can become invisible for free um, per battle. So this is a cool shout and all. I might give it to someone else. I might give it to, I don't know, Lazel or even Shadowheart. You know what? Sh Shadowheart. Uh, I don't know. The, the Lifebringer is really decent. If she could become invisible, though, I think this it ends when um, cast another spell. Okay, yeah. So she she wouldn't be able to make use of it anyway. Uh, it might be useful for like Carlac or Lazel to to get like a little bit of a um, you know positional advantage. That would be good. I have a backpack. Backpack, backpack. Scroll of false life. Uh, scroll of hold person. Person. We will eventually make use of things like that. And we've got drow poison. Love me some drow poison. Flump mating rituals. The cover proudly announces this book to be. Flump mating rituals. Um, dwarf nature. Flumps, largely benign parasites, but what do you know of their love lives? Uh, this is just an advantage, situational, nothing there, nothing there. All right, let's do dwarf nature. Uh, yes. Good lord, we got lucky there. I was gonna, I was gonna use some inspiration on that one. Flumps reproduce asexually. This text contains exactly the opposite, with far too vivid details to match. Lol. The scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine. Ooh, interesting. Pages apparently copied from a master tome describe the construct construction and use of a grand forge in the Underdark. Among the Sharons dwelled the gnome Saluv Yali, whose talents of, for wizardry were known from Candlekeep to Sorcerer. Under this, his tutelage, the Sharons built the Great Forge, which could heat a mithril with such vigor as to turn it to adamantine. With this astonishing metal, they could mold the finest blades and armor. Yet the jewel of Yali's eye was not the forge itself, but the protector he conjured from the magma to guard it. A construct said to be so mighty that no blade could fell it and no spell could pierce it. Instructions for operating the Great Forge are listed underneath. Ingredients, raw mithril ore and proper mold, 
Place the ore and mold into their perspective chambers. Pull the lever to lower the hammer and prepare the ore for smelting. Open the valve to allow lava into the crucible and drop the hammer again to forge the product. More about this forge. But the other notes mention some sort of guardian. Yeah, so I'm getting the impression that we're going to want... We're very much going to want to... Uh, find a solution this um magma axe or hammer um for the purposes of felling the construct that guards the adamantine forge definitely i am on board um could do some more bartering i think i'm good for now though uh get yankee patrol we don't have to do that yet Find the mushroom picker. Let's do that. I definitely want to check out this adamantine forge. We'll do that at some point, but, uh, you know, one thing at a time. Uh, I'll go ahead and let me see here. There's no waypoint closer. Actually, this one's kind of closer. We'll go here and we'll go north. And, um, might do a pause if things prove to be a bit too time-consuming. Charm. Charm, look of the... You make a successful attack against the foe, you can change it. Okay. I wonder if that's, like, once per battle. So, uh, this is, uh, this, this is the pathway I passed up before. And this is going to get us to the mushroom picker. Uh, this is awful. Okay, we're going to go ahead and ungroup. And I'm going to see if I can get through this without disturbing the mushrooms. my last save i really should have saved before i did that okay i'm gonna do a pause and i'll come back okay okay uh, I, I didn't have to redo too much but um i did have to read that book again um i mean this is a nightmare for sure i'm thinking i mean there's something over there we're definitely gonna want to do this with just have so that's progress. Might actually be better. Why don't we do this with um Lazel instead for once? Oh, action, not reaction. And uh she looks pretty good with that shrouded cowl, by the way. We're gonna do a Githyanki Psionics jump. I guess that we could just cast it on tab. No time to rest. We're gonna do a jump way over there. He's indeed surrounded by Bibberbang. The spores of those mushrooms are both toxic and flammable. What is happening here? This is quite a predicament you've landed yourself in. Yeah, okay, back backpack face. I know that. Scroll. Escape. My bag, please. I've dropped it somewhere. Okay. Hold tight, I'll find your bag. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Lulz Candle, Chasm Creeper. We don't have much time. Noble Stock. Yep. Uh, this seems like a good way of doing things. 
Balan's backpack, there it is. I think if I grab this torch, then there won't be a danger of things exploding. But that doesn't mean I will be careless. Scroll of Misty Step. Wait. What are you doing? Get out of there! My back, please. Hold up a scroll of Misty Step. Yes, that's yes. Give the scroll to him. I just have to, and then here. Uh, you wasted exactly enough of my time that I, I don't have the jump anymore. So, uh, what I'm going to do at this point is I, I want whatever that is over there. That looks like it's going to be useful. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, just let this happen. It's fine. Okay, that was fine. There were some candles over here. I was a little bit worried about that, but they didn't... They, they seemed to be fine. Oh, I, I missed that chasm creeper. Oh, well. Ah, right. As, uh, what were you saying? Uh, what were you doing down here? I was looking for... Dereth. She's... She'll be worried sick. I must... Need to go. For you, your trouble. Well, I mean, uh, we need your help for something. Ta. We, we need your help, though. Scroll of invisibility. I don't. I don't need that at all. Um. Okay, everyone, follow me. We're gonna follow him. This didn't work last time I tried this, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Last time it was a goblin. Okay, he's going to the mushroom place. This is fine. Balin. There you are. Oh, you okay. Right. Go he's on. the guy. Uh, no he's her husband. Stock. The mushroom? Well, I, I did grab that. I knew I was forgetting something. What? Restores a creature to full health and removes all conditions that negatively affect it when consumed. My friend. Biberbag. Curious. Beautiful. But dangerous. Next time. More careful next time. For certain. Thank you. For your help. I'm glad I found you when I did. Me too. Yes. Very glad. Someone's got to look after Derek. <laughs> anyway, what do you say? Uh, you must be keen on mushrooms if you're willing to brave the Underdark for them. The shop. The shop needs all we find. Bone cloaks. Baldur's Gate. Anything from... Anything sourced here very high rate of profit how did you end up trapped like that noble stock yes there it needs noble stock mushroom good stuff a and the ledge yes i was on a ledge crumbled to bits and i tumbled down what is noble stock exactly mushroom powerful did it wants it for a brew She's very good, my dearest. Very good at a brew. Show him the noble stock. Did you take that? Dearest wants it very badly. Very, very badly indeed. I'll give it to Dareth. Oh, very glad. She'll be very glad. I'm sure it'd be worth keeping, but... Um, what's up for discussion? 
We'll see what uh, what we get. Got my useless old man back. Didn't think the likes of you took to helping folk. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. He ought to sell the dimwit. A little hard labor could be whipped out of him. Yeah. It's a miracle he survived. You should take him home. Please. Balin's got a job to do. We can leave when he's done it. Uh, seems like there's no love lost between the two of you. Love? <laughs> Never heard of it. Balin's meek now, but he used to be a rotten old bastard. Treated me like an old shoe for 70 years. Losing his mind was the only good he ever did by me. Interesting. This is a dangerous territory. You must be down here for a reason. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. What makes it so valuable? Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Could it cure Balin's memory loss? Probably. But Balin in his right mind wasn't worth half a half of noble stock. I know him better than anyone. Got the scars to prove it. Okay. I won't touch that then. Ah. To no surprise of mine, you're more competent than Balin. Go on then. Hand it over. Oh, come on now. What will you do with it? Sell it. What else? Worth more than its weight in gold to folk back in Baldur's Gate. There ain't much I can't cure. So why am I giving it to you exactly? How much is it worth to you? Loads. But I haven't got anything to offer for it. I'm counting on the shroom for that. Give it or don't. Um... Not good enough. Give me something or this noble stock disappears right before your eyes. I mean, I, I hate to be rude, but she's been not exactly super kind or respectful to me either. Stop. Fine. Take this wedding ring from a pillock. It has to be worth something. I don't think it is. Take the reward and keep the noble stock. I'm not going to be that rude. I'd say it was a pleasure doing business. Except it wasn't. Off you go. I don't know. You seem kind of nasty, to be honest. While it wasn't a joyful reunion, Dareth has her husband back now. You receive gloves of uninhibited Kushigo. Um, oh. Where deals course. an additional 1d4 back. damage with throw attacks and attacks made with improvised weapons. This would be good for Karlak, maybe. Let's see what she's currently using. She's got these reasons grasp, which admittedly I haven't used all that often. Um, the nice thing about this is that she can actually like throw people. And so she could potentially do more damage with that. Um, let's see what Balin has for sale. Is that blood? No, never mind. Uh, don't be too careful in these parts. Paper bangs the least of it. Oh, I guess I have to talk to him and then. Uh, don't be too careful in these parts. Paper bangs the least of it. Trade. Oh, he doesn't have anything? Weird. It shows him as a merchant, but um, he doesn't really have anything. I guess if I had, uh, like recovered his memory then uh just wondering is there like a journal up here I, I just wonder like what the alternative would have been here really looking forward to playing through this game again kill near okay let's do that um we are running through to the end of the episode i am really enjoying this game it's it's been an absolute treat um like you know i know it's a cliche i know a lot of people are, are just like pack. talking joy about this game and it's deserved 100 percent. like the game has just been wonderful like i have my complaints for sure i'm not gonna you know uh say i don't like i have 
the the interface and mechanical complaints here and there but overall the story is just fantastic execution is just wonderful it's it's a great game i cannot you know nothing i complain about really uh undermines that at all What's inside um okay we've got some dead deep crooked wand of fireballs eight to 48 damage wow Send that to like maybe Lazel or Carlac. I think they can use wands. Eager for battle. Yeah. She can use it. Um put that on our hot bar? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to use the, the hot bar. Let's but uh move. we're we're gonna Activate. make our way to kill Nair, the drow um i think i'm going the wrong way Ooh, short sword of first blood eight to twenty damage piercing and piercing conditional break the unbroken Deals an additional 1 to 8 piercing damage to targets that still have all their hit points. That's pretty good. I wonder if I can um, wield that. I totally can. That'll be good. Because I tend to... Actually, I wonder if... Um... Uh, to creatures that are knocked out or sleeping this assassin's touch has not been doing nearly as much damage as i i i i've thought so i'm gonna swap the things around a little bit and uh we're gonna we'll be able to do like s some decent first hand damage also gonna hand out a couple of these special arrows to carlac and uh lazel because like i'm seriously not using them your weapon attacks also deal two acid damage. Oh, that's in my, that's already equipped. I was wondering why that wasn't equipped. We also have this arrow of construct slaying. We're definitely gonna wanna use that against whatever is um, warding against, or, a, you know, uh, away from the adamantine forge. Still breathing, despite everything. We are going in the wrong direction, but there was some good stuff over here. I do wonder... Sometimes uh, I have noticed that, like, dead bodies were just, like, basically that. quests that we didn't get to in time. Um, so it might have been that if we'd gotten here quickly enough, we would have been able to save that deep gnome. Or, I don't know, maybe they just died. Who knows? Corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwergar. Okay, I'm just having a look around. Um, love the ambient stuff. I love... I, so far, I've had the most fun in the Underdark, which is completely adverse to what I would have imagined. Okay, I need to go west. We're going over here. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here I forgot to loot. Um, add to wares. Add to wares. Fish. Gold. Nothing there. Ooh, gold and gold ring. Discarded journal. I don't know if I read that before. We threw a surprise party for Ironfoot. How that idiot made it past 150 is a mystery, but it's cause for celebration either way. When we saw the fire whiskey we'd been brewing, I swear he teared up. I'd only a cup of the stuff, but I can't feel my tongue anymore. The lunatic finished the barrel last uh, that night. I have no idea how he made it to the, his next shift. But Mirnek claimed he she needed him inside the wagon to guard inventory 
The burrow warden didn't say a word when he when the snore started. Layabout is lucky she's got a soft touch. Uh, I'd best get some sleep. Orders just came in for practice shovels and pickaxes for the younglings, and I've yet to harvest these zerk wood. Where does the time go? More stuff. Actual fish we can use. Executed deep moan, uh, gnome. I don't know why all these gnomes are getting killed. Underdark Dwager boat. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. I guess we're sailing into the darkness. And that seems like a good place to leave it. Nice little cliffhanger. Um, we'll see if there's something I can't avoid here, but uh, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.